What's going on, everyone? Happy Monday to everyone. Hopefully, everyone is doing well, staying safe, healthy. If you had to take a COVID test, hopefully you have tested negative. If you did test positive, I hope you have a full and speedy recovery with no long COVID issues. It is time now for the Monday edition of the Pandemic Update for Monday, April 15th, 2024. If you're new to my channel, this is where we do the daily pandemic update on all things COVID and any other virus that could be a health threat to you. Want to learn more? Want to stay informed? Subscribe to my channel down below. Like the content you see here? Give it a thumbs up. The more thumbs up, the more comments. Yes, your comments down below. The more times people share the video, the more YouTube algorithm recognizes that, hey, this channel, people like the content. He's on to something. Let's show it to more people. I'm telling you, it works. Alrighty, we have several things that we're going to take a look at. Some weekly data from BNO, a few news stories, a... The um, survey that I did yesterday, which had some unsurprising results, kind of went exactly the way I thought it would, but uh, it, it makes great content for this video, and you'll see why in a moment. Plus, we do have some personal news to talk about, and we're going to try for wastewater scan today. If it doesn't work, not much I can say. All right, first off, we're just going to read a headline here. I'm going to add this study to the website, datareport.info. Study reveals how SARS-CoV-2 hijacks the lung cells to drive COVID-19 severity. You know, when you watch movies, um, you see, you know, when you watch these action thriller movies where someone takes over an airplane, you know, hijackers take over an airplane. Well, guess what? COVID can do that with your lung cells. COVID can hijack your lung cells from doing what they're supposed to do, and COVID will do its own thing to mess up your lung cells and cause all kinds of problems in the lungs. It's, it's true. It happens. I had problems with my lungs. We'll get to more on that in just a little bit. COVID-19 update for New Zealand. 2,618 new cases and eight further deaths have been added in New Zealand. So it says here, that uh, it looks like of the new cases, 1,634 of them were reinfections. All right, moving on to this. 121 measles cases have been reported so far in the U.S. this year, the highest since 2019. I suspect this number is going to keep going up. And you know what? I wouldn't be surprised if it goes over 200. Yes, I'm saying it. I'm reversing what I said the other day. It's because it seems like every day we're talking about new measles cases again since Friday. And I haven't done much in the way of searches today. These are just all things that I found last night. So, uh, who knows? You may see me reporting more tomorrow. Or if you follow me on Twitter, at COVID Data Report, you'll see me tweet stuff out this evening when I do my research. All right, moving on to this now. New Zealand, once again, we're going back to New Zealand. Just 53.6% of school students met the criteria for regular attendance. That's horrible. 53.6%? Guess what the main driver of that was for non-attendance? Sickness. It continues. People continue to be sick. All right, taking a look at the latest BNO update. Speaking of sickness, we have something else about that in a moment, I believe from the UK. Weekly U.S. COVID update. New cases, 63,096. The average is 80,019. States reporting, 50 out of 50. In the hospital, down by 1,000. Just 7,985. In the ICU, 1,244. That's down by 165. New deaths, 768. So again, it's below 1,000. It's still over 500. And that's their new threshold that they calculate. The average is now below 1,000. It is 998. That's down by 136. The breakdown for this week's case numbers. Reports from 22 states. Estimate from 28 states. So they had to estimate from 28 states still, which comes up to a total of 63,096. COVID indicators are declined across the U.S. similar to the same period last year. This trend is expected to continue until a new wave begins. Obviously, at some point, there will be a new wave. We just don't know when that's going to be. During the past week, 7,318 Americans were hospitalized with COVID, down 9% from the week before. Nearly 8,000 people are currently hospitalized. This is the 39th week in a row with more than 500 new COVID deaths in the U.S., or nearly 56,000 deaths during that same period. So far this year, nearly 3 million cases of COVID have been reported in the U.S., causing 
259,346 hospitalizations and 26,079 deaths. That's still pandemic levels, my friends. 259,000 hospitalizations, I still consider that a pandemic. That's far higher than what flu causes for hospitalizations. All right, back to sickness again, this time the UK. UK reports 55% rise in sick leave since 2019. Across people, HR gathered the data of absences recorded over 1,775 small and medium-sized businesses to track sickness leave. And you can also see the full report. We did not tweet this out. I'm going to retweet this right now. There you go. You can go see that on Twitter right now. You can also go to Corona Heads Up where they do tweet great content. And this is some great content right here that you need to read. All right, moving on now to a study. Not a study, a survey I took yesterday. Do you feel the CDC is doing a good job? I didn't say with COVID. I just said the CDC in general. So far, 580 votes. Seven hours left to go. I suspect maybe we'll get another 50 to 100 votes. Maybe I'll retweet this later on. That way, maybe it can get some more traction in the last few hours. Here are the results. 2.8% said yes. Just 2.8%. 97.2% say no. The CDC is not doing a good job. And you know what? We will repost this right now. That way it gains some traction. Let's get some more votes in here to see if that number would stay. I bet if it went over 1,000, I bet it would still be at least over 95%. And so on put here, the 2.6% who voted for the CDC did a good job must be bots, I guess. And You know, it's possible. If anyone thinks the CDC is doing a good job, I got news for you. They're not. All right, moving on to some personal news. Today was Doctor's Day for me. First time I've been to my regular primary doctor, so I believe it was December. So it was time for my update. And guess what? Everything was good. I had a um, Aeronet reading, as you can see here. 655 was the Aeronet reading. You can see I was in my N95 mask. My doctor was masked as well. And he said I look much healthier. He said my breathing sounds much better. He asked about my injections. I said, you know, they really are helping me. Just a couple years ago, you know, on a day like today, where it is actually 85 degrees here right now. I'm kidding you not. 85 degrees in April in Philadelphia. Wow. Uh, my Exolar injections are helping because on days like today where it was hot, if I was going up heavy flight of stairs, I would be completely out of breath. I would be out of breath doing this video right now two years ago on a day like today because I don't have the air on right now. Alrighty, moving on. So overall, the doctor was pleased. He said, I'm healthy. We'll retest my cholesterol level in four to six months when I go back to see him again in October. All right, taking a look at air qualities in the United States, you may see some isolated areas with bad air qualities in the east simply because it is a relatively warm day in the east. You can see that mid-Atlantic. We're seeing some... Uh, yellowish green, some yellows, generally east of the Mississippi and south of Interstate 80. Uh, in the plains, we do have quite a bit of yellow and some oranges popping up today. That's not good to see. And we do have just Sacramento again, California, Central California, over near San Francisco. Continues to be a problem. No problems in the Pacific Northwest. Very few sites that are in the yellow. And I did want to show this to you. We're going to include these in the updates. If you live in the Plains, if you live in Nebraska or Kansas in Texas, or if you live over in Virginia today, back through Kentucky, be mindful. There could be some severe storms today. There is a threat of tornadoes in the Plains today. So if you're one of my subscribers and you live in that area, be weather aware. And you can see there are some wind and hail threats as well today. Of course, I do have another channel. Just don't have time to post on it. If I did both channels, I wouldn't have time to go out and work at the same time. It takes a lot to do a weather forecast. You'd be surprised. you got to look at the models, analyze all the data. Moving on. All right. 788 EMS incidents on Sunday in Philadelphia. That's closer to 800. It's been trending higher lately. Just a little bit ago, there were quite a few calls in Montgomery County. And wow, there's still, I'm going to refresh this. There still are quite a few calls. And, you know, COVID impacts the brain as well. Why am I saying that? Look at all these vehicle accidents. It's perfectly sunny here today. And yet there's 11 traffic incidents with uh, one, two, three. So eight of them are accidents right now. Yeah, that's not good. I, I definitely think I also tweet a traffic account where I, you know, report on incidents going on in the area. I started that long before COVID. I just got back into it. And people I know who are in the traffic industry, you know, that report on traffic, they all agree. 
there are more accidents now since the start of the pandemic, and we can't figure out why. I know why. I think it's because COVID messing with the brain. People are driving more aggressive. They're not uh, thinking properly. Let's go over to Chester County, and oh my. Wow, look at this. Respiratory difficulty, falls, sick person, heart problem, emotional disorder, fall lift assist, hypotension, fall lift assist, sick person, emotional disorder, hypotension, falls, stroke, heart problems. You have to wonder how many of these are post-COVID issues. I mean, personally for me, a lot of my post-COVID issues have gotten better. I even told that to the doctor. I said, you know, I feel better now. Will it stay this way? I don't know. Then, you know, that's the way long COVID works. You can have a period where you're feeling fine. And then a few weeks later, you're back to feeling lousy again. That's the way it works. And sh take a look at all these EMS calls. Wow. It's not even all. Yes, there's a few sick person calls, but it's just several different things that could potentially be post-COVID. All right, Walgreens, we're going to refresh this. I refreshed it earlier. There was no update. I don't know. Are we done with Walgreens now until next winter? Well, we'll keep checking. All right, BioBot. We can see BioBot in most regions is dropping just an ever so slight rise in the northeast. All right, drum roll, please. Can we take a look at wastewater scan? Well, so far it's looking like we can. I want to take a look at what's going on up in Boston because uh, we saw the CDC version yesterday. As you know, the CDC is often behind. More of a reason to put no, the CDC is not doing a good job. CDC should be this detailed. They really should be. Uh, COVID. It's rising slightly in Boston. RSV is rising slightly. Influenza A is rising slightly. Influenza B, yikes, that's rising slightly. HMPV. Norovirus is not only rising slowly, it was slightly. Now it's starting to rapidly rise, and it is high at this time. No MPOX issues and a few hepatitis A detections. Let's go out to the West Coast. Got to give some attention to the West Coast. Fingers crossed, this site is actually working today. Let's go down to Los Angeles. We'll go to... Like Hollywood, I guess this would be. Yeah, I guess Hollywood's up here. Let's see what's going on up there. COVID, look at this. COVID is low at this time. RSV is low. Uh, influenza A is low. Influenza B, yeah, there's a little few detections of that. HMPV going up a little bit. Norovirus, not much of an issue. And then when we come down to hepatitis A, you can see just a few detections at this time. Actually, quite a few. I don't know. That could be overdone for all we know. And incidentally, speaking of Hollywood, I saw an actor, I forget who it was, on TV the other day. Had to pause several times for coughing fits. Uh, during watching the uh, coverage, I don't like to get political on here, but I was watching the news over the weekend. We all know what's going on in the Middle East right now. And I saw several news stations that were scrambling to get coverage going. I saw a lot of coughing fits and a lot of clearing of the throat. So uh, it's out there. I don't, you know, you could say it's, oh, uh, well, it's springtime allergies. Or you could also say, hey, maybe they've had COVID and now that's how they have to get speaking is they have to clear their throat many times. It seems to be something that's very common. I don't remember seeing it a lot on the news prior to 2020. There used to be like a rule of thumb. If you had to sneeze, if you had to cough, you did your best to try and not do it because it was a huge no-no. Now, if it happens, it's like, Oh, well, you're not going to get in trouble for it. It's the new normal. I mean, that's basically what we've been seeing now. All right, there's more wastewater. Nothing to report on this day in history. Don't need to take a look at hospitalization issues. Uh, but we do want to take a look at this. COVID deaths in the past week, down 8.3%. And we will take a look at the hospital admissions. 7,318 have been reported in the past week. And let's take a look at epidemic status for flu real quickly and COVID. And we can see it is rising, likely growing in Virginia, Ohio, and New York. And then when we come up here to what is going on in Massachusetts and Connecticut, it's likely growing at this time for COVID. So that is interesting to see. Now taking a look at the variant proportions and JN.1 leads the way at 83.7%, JN1.13 at 9.1%, JN1.18 at 2.5%, and JN1.16 at 2.4%. Like I said Friday, and I think I might have said it Saturday too, we are coming into JN.1 soup with all these sub-variants of JN.1 that are popping up. Flu, the only place that is really high still is is up there in North Dakota. Everywhere else is not doing too bad, right? Still some moderate places, but it's dropping in the majority of the places right now. New Jersey, only 56 out of 70 hospitals reported. That results in 183 hospitalizations. On a ventilator, 7. In the ICU, 25. Discharges, 28. 
have been reported today. New York State, another 413 cases. That's going lower. It's continuing to go low. Let's take a look at hospitalizations. Let's see. Did New York State get below 500? And hallelujah, New York State did it. 484 people hospitalized. Now, I could go back to 500 tomorrow. We've been seeing some bumps on Tuesdays, but again, this is far lower than last year, and they're already below 500. Imagine if there is no spring wave, and it continues dropping through summer. Who knows how low we'll go? This is really, I mean, this is really good news. I know, not all hospitals report all of the COVID uh, cases, but you know what? This is really encouraging news. 484 hospitalized patients, um, 64 people in the ICU. Alrighty, folks, that does it for today's pandemic update. We'll have another pandemic update again tomorrow. If you enjoyed this update, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this, subscribe to my channel down below. If you know anyone who needs to see this content, by all means, share this with anyone you know. Leave a comment down below. It can be about anything. It can be about my health. It can be about what you saw here today. It can be about anything. What's your experience with long COVID? Are you finding that maybe things have gotten a little better for you? I hope they have. If not, well, gosh, I really hope they find some treatment soon for the people that have severe long COVID. It's long overdue. What's time is time. We need treatment. We need to be able to cure people. It just needs to happen. It's not fair. People should not have to suffer with long COVID. Alrighty, folks, I'll see you all again next time. Until I see you again next time, stay safe, everyone. Have a fantastic Monday afternoon. Thanks for watching.